What is up guys, my name is Cartoons and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about positioning against Wizard Cleaves in World of Warcraft Arena. And if you don't know what a Wizard Cleave is, that's okay. Uh, a Wizard Cleave is pretty much a team comp in 3v3 that is composed of wizards. That's why it's called Wizard Cleave. Uh, Cleave is just put on every single team name and it's, it, it's probably just called Wizards or Wizard Cleave, whatever you want to name it. Uh, but Wizards can consist of Mages, Warlocks, Boomkins, Elemental Shamans... Um, Shadow Priest, you know, anything that just casts spells directly as opposed to a hunter or a warrior that, like, uh, you know, throws things, you know, hits people with heavy stuff and whatnot. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's what Wizards is, and I'm going to tell you how to stand and where you should be. Um, I'm pretty much going to be talking from a perspective of a mage, but this is useful information for everyone, so, I mean, if you can pretty much give this to anyone show this video to anyone and they're going to be able to get some information out of this that can be very viable for them and in an actual arena. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and get into the content. Okay, so today I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate versus a Demonology Lock and a Frost Mage and a Rustler Druid. Uh, this is a very hard comp because Demon Locks do a ton of damage, spread damage. I mean, they do an equivalent of Affliction if they do it right. And Mages, of course, are Mages. They do a ton of burst damage at the same time. Um, and this mage goes ahead and pulls up forward, so I'm just going to go ahead and peel his opener. Uh, they're going to try and set up for my druid or the shadow priest, and I'm in invisibility, so I actually have the upper hand. And even though I get cyclone here, that's okay. Um, they do go ahead and try and kill my water elemental, but I don't see that as being a big problem, because I can just summon another one. And we go ahead and pretty much negate their whole opener. We don't have to worry about anything. Um, at first, we decide to try and go for the demon lock pet, but later on, we feel like that's not really a great decision. Um, I feel like demon lock pets really aren't easy to kill, so we're not going to go for it, and we're actually going to try and go for this mage. So I go ahead and poly um, the druid right away, and then I CS the mage with the frost bomb and do huge damage to him right away, and then we go ahead and force a block, which is very, very good in the first 10 seconds, pretty much, of what we needed to do for damage. Uh, we figured out our kill target, and we're later on going to kill the mage. And one thing I wanted to go ahead and point out is that the warlock has wall here, and I should not have had to block there. That was a mistake by me, and that shouldn't have happened. Um, the Warlock had wall, which means he's going to take a lot less damage, and he's going to get healing soon from his Druid. Um, I should have just pulled behind the pillar instead of having to take all that damage, which caused that block. Um, so that is also one fault of me. Uh, but I do also make another fault, and I'm going to go ahead and point out my mistakes, because I want to show you guys how to get better, as opposed to just do the right things. Um, I blinked into them, and then just CS the Druid and tried to do damage by myself. Unfortunately, my healer, as you can see, is feared right now, and my Shadow Priest wasn't ready for damage at the right time, so I had to pull back, and we all had to waste cooldowns. Um, I think my Druid has to pull back and do Mushrooms in just a second, and I had to block for a second time. And this all could have been avoided if I just stayed behind the pillar instead of coming out by myself and um, doing damage by myself. Uh, but to the next clip, I am actually going to be going offensive pretty soon because I can see that they're going defensive. They're running back a bit. And when they run back, that's time to push in. You need to be able to recognize that they're pulling back and to put in um, some significant damage into them to punish them for pulling out of their damage, I suppose is the way to say that. Uh, but we want to go for this mage primarily because we've already gotten his block. Um, we want to get that second block pretty soon. And as you can see, I set up damage really nice with the frost bomb and I get tons of procs. And I defreeze him so he can't LOS, which causes him to block or die. Um, so we are able to get two blocks out of them, and we are now even in the game. We are not behind anymore. Uh, but I should have blinked back right here. I made a little bit of a mistake. I should have blink blinked back earlier, and I went down to about 30% because this damage is crazy from this team. They do huge amount of burst damage. And Hotted got, he er, got CC'd once again, so I'm in a really big tight spot right now. Um, he had to go ahead and push Mushrooms out, and then I had to blink away. And luckily that fear was on that Warlock, or I probably would have died. Uh, but that's all right, and I'm glad that I can see the mistake so I can go ahead and fix it um, from now on. I do need to be a little bit better at looking at when my healer is CC'd. But pretty much here is a moment where I want to pull back so I don't die, but my Shadow Priest goes ahead and tells me, look, I have damage, you need to do damage too, and I went ahead and just put all of my trust into him and did the most damage that I could into the mage, which landed us the kill because the Frost Mage did not have any more Ice Blocks. And then my Shadow Priest stops that revive, even though, even though it doesn't look like it. But it's a bug, it's all good. Uh, but that was able to land us the kill just because of that. Um, you trust your teammate to be able to do as much damage as he says he's going to, and he did. Um, which did go ahead and land us the kill, and this was overall about a 10 minute game. 
But yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video for today. I know it was a pretty short one, but it was a very effective one. If you didn't learn everything, go ahead and play it back, and you might find something that I didn't actually cast over, um, or something that you you know you didn't really quite understand. You might get it for the second time. Uh, but hey, my random uh, my random social outlet of the day to promote is I am promoting my Facebook a lot this month, guys. Um, I'd really like to see it get over 10,000 likes, and it is currently at 8,647. So if you guys head over there and like my Facebook page, I'd really love that. That would be really nice of you. And feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on um, World of Warcraft positioning, um, awesomeness, mage, me, cartoons, um, mad chill homies and such. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Feel free to give me a thumbs up because it always does um, help me whenever you do that. And I will see you next time. Cartoons out.